everyone. Thanks for joining our webinar today, Minitab Statistical Software Control Chat. So I'm Nau Salawati. I'm the Technical Support Specialist at Busy System. Busy System are independent representative Minitab for Malaysia, Singapore and Batam, Indonesia. So before we begin further, let you uh, let you know today is we go for the Minitab Statistical Software. Okay. Uh, here a few housekeeping notes before we begin. Uh, we have a Q&A session after the presentation, but you can submit any question you have and we will try to do our best to answer them if have a time. If no, I will answer afterwards by the email. So we recommend viewing this webinar on your laptop or PC for the best result. So please fit our, our survey before you exit the tab. This survey will help us to improve the quality of our upcoming webinar. So we record this webinar and upload to our website, the www.busy.com and YouTube channel, Minitech Malaysia and Singapore. So there's no problem if you miss anything or want to review afterwards. Minitech was developed in 1972, so today Minitech in market for more than 50 years. So we have a varieties of product, uh, which is, is we have the Minitech Connects. Uh, for today, we have the Minitech Statistical Software. We also have the Minitech. Uh, suffered predictive modeler, we call it SPM, and we have the mod mini tech model apps, ops, sorry, and then we have the mini tech workspace, uh, we have the mini tech engage, we also have the education hub, and then we have the real time SPC. So I think uh, almost of you heard about the mini tech certificate software, but we have others, uh, other software, uh, for, for example, mini tech actually for the for data transformation and then you can see the dashboard inside there and then we have the support predictive modeler is for machine learning and predictive analytic but now some algorithm inside the SPM are available uh, in the metadata statistical software but in the predictive analytic modules and then we have the more mini type model apps uh, for the hub a business analyst and engineer to successfully implement their machine learning and predictive model. And then we have the Minitech was face. Uh, Minitech was face actually is for the visualization uh, templates like PSM, FMEA, uh, Fishbone Diagram, Process Map, and so on. And then we have the Minitech Engage. It's something like uh, compre comprehensive within uh, rather than Minitech was space. Since in Engage, you are able to see the dashboard also we have the workflow to to do some approval review and so on and then we have the mini tab uh we gotta create this one is education hub okay uh, that one is a consist of the online training a uh, few models like uh, for example today we have the statistical uh, quality control we have inside uh, education hub. We have the design of exploring itself. We have also for the statistical inference and so on. And then the last part, uh, the last product is a uh, real time SPC. So this one is a uh, for mixed quality analysis and improvement, easy in one convenient and comprehensive solution. While your our monitoring and alert in the real time for immediate action when quality varies. Uh, and then you will save in the both um both time and the money. So I can say that after you know about the control chart, maybe you want to have the advanced features. Okay, uh, you have the real time, uh, real time solution, uh, real time or notification when your your process you have uh, some alert, some out. Uh, some special costs you are identified and when so you want to notify to your email and so on. So I think it will go, uh, you can uh, further with the real time SPC. That one is separated from the Minitech Statistical Software. Okay. 
And then, so today our agenda is we look on the overview of the control chart itself, what is mean by control chart, how uh, control chart will help you uh, to solve your problem. And then inside the control chart, actually, we want to look uh, on the variation. We want to study about the variation. So as we know, we have two types of variation. So today we go for the source of, of variation itself. And after that, I will show how to create uh, the control chart variables and then attribute using the mini tab statistical software. And then the last part is the features available in inside the uh, main stat, stat menu uh, we you we can use the assistant to create the control chart so many ways you will get control chart in the mini tab statistical software Okay, so this one is the uh, tools available in a mini tech certificate software. So for the quality part, we always use the MSA, Measurement System Analysis. We have a control chart for today's uh, topic. And then maybe the future, we have the capability analysis topic. And then we cover, we have the acceptance sample also available in the mini tech certificate software. And then we have also for the tolerance interval. Okay, and then we need to also cover for the reliability engineering. Okay, for those uh, uh, involved on this side, so you able to use the minute certificate software also. And then we have the DOE. Okay, so we cover for the screening from the screening part. We also have the response surface design. We also have to make sure. And then in the mini tab, actually for DOE, not only analysis part, you can create the worksheet, okay, from the, or we call it the design itself, okay, before you go for the experimental, before you go for the analysis part, okay. And then we cover also for the business analytic, okay. Now this, I think, is... Uh, uh, the interesting word is analytic. So we also have that kind of the modeling in the Minitech Certificate software. For nowadays, we are, we include one another algorithm. We call it the CAR or we call it the three-based um, algorithm inside the Minitech Certificate software. Okay, and then here is uh, for the process validation. So just I want to highlight uh, these uh, tools uh, available in Minitech Certificate software but not in sequence like this one. You, you can go for the stage one process design, but it will be available all these two in the military certificate software. Okay. And then here is a some organization already use or, or be our partner or be our customer. Okay. So not only for manufacturing, we have a we are a lot cover for manufacturing, we have electronic. We have the medical device, we have the uh, automotive, and we also have a customer from the uh, services, and then we also have customer from the uh, economician, okay? Okay, I can share the this web uh this slide. Okay, but you need to drop your email into the chat box or Q and A uh, session. Okay. Okay, so um uh, as we know, many success story about the SPC. Okay, many success story or case study out there. Uh, show the statistical process control is one of the best tool to improve their quality. So SPC, it will help us to keep our process is stable, uh, consistent, and predictable. So major tools inside the SPC is a control chart. Okay, so control chart are simple, okay, but very powerful tools that uh, help us to determine whether a process is in control or out of control. Okay, so why well we say that simple? Okay, so for those our first time see the control chart, the control chart is this one. Okay, control chart is a graph that plots uh, pro your process in time order sequence. 
okay, in time order sequence. And then they consist of three lines inside that control chart. The first line is we call it the center limit, okay, and then uh, or process mean, okay, and then we have the another two line here is we call it upper control limit and then lower control limit. Okay, and then from the control chart itself, actually, you want to uh, separate two common uh, variation. It's a common cost variation and a special cost variation. So from this uh, three line, and then you draw the, 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 the dot here, okay, you will identify it's a common cost and then the special cost variation. Okay, we go after the what is the by mean co common cost, what is mean by the special cost. So actually, uh, control chart it will help uh, easily to interpret, uh, visualize your analysis of for the, for the process stability. Okay. But Minitech will we try help you more. Uh, so will be so easy for this thing to identify the common cost and the special cost by the color coding. Okay, the blue dot here it will show that only consists of the common cost variation. If let's say Minitech appear for the red uh, point here, okay, it will show the special cost variation. So what I mean by the common? What means by the special cost variation? Okay, so special uh, common cost variation actually is a nature, okay, from, or we call it the expected variation in your process. So I think uh, if let's say you go more on the, the simple analogy, okay, you go for the, let's say uh, <clears throat> in the, uh, we call it uh, like a family mark uh, uh, stop. So you go there and then you see the 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 the, the cook level uh, is not uh, it will be not so uh, same. Okay, we have maybe have a some uh, decrease, some increase. Okay, the level of the uh, milliliter of a coat in the bottle is up. So that one is something like we have a variance, but we need to identify which is, is the is common variation or the special variation. So for the common variation is a nature part. And then for the one is area between the lower and upper control limit just now. Okay, must be in within this line. And then for the special cost variation, it's something like you cannot unexpected variation that result from the unusual occurrence. Okay, and then maybe it will be beyond the control limit itself. And then maybe it will show the randomly pattern inside in within uh, the control limit itself. Okay, so we you can identify the special cost variation can be uh, uh, outside from this limit, whether it's upper or lower control limit, or maybe it's something randomly in this uh, region. Okay, so we have a two thing uh, outside from this or the randomly pattern inside in this region. To identify, it will be the special cost variation. Okay, so we try, okay, we try to see that, uh, for example, for the common cost variation, maybe it's from your raw material itself, or maybe from your the supply, uh, supply loss, or maybe from your equipment itself, or maybe from the environment factor. Okay, so that one is a common cost variation. So for the special cost variation, maybe from the non-conforming material itself, Okay, you undetected equipment malfunction and then the operation performed incorrectly. So we, we can say that if let's say you have the red dot point here, okay, so we consider the process is out of control. The process is not stable, okay, within for this case. So, but actually when you want to use the control chart, so your objectives maybe want to demonstrate whether your process is stable and consistent over the time. So you just, maybe you can mention that I, I measure uh, my, my, my process is constant. Okay, my process is stable. But how to provide, how you need to have evidence on that. So, so you need to show your control chart. So maybe you want to uh, verify your process is stable 
before you perform a capability analysis, before you perform your CPCPK. So, and then maybe you want to assess the effectiveness of process change. Maybe you, you identify the special cost variation, you improve on that, and then you measure back your stability, okay? And then you can see that before and after, okay? And then maybe you want to uh, have a communicate the performance of your process during the specific period of the time. So be simple one, simplify this thing. If let's say you want to see the stability, your consistent of the process, so you will use the control chart. Okay. So by control chart, we have a many type of control chart. Okay. In the, in the market. Okay. So the first thing, uh, the first, how to choose we, we, is, what is the best, okay? What is the best or the, the right tools, okay? The right con, uh, control chart to solve your problem, okay? The first, you need to identify your, your process data set. It will be continuous or variables or it will be attribute. So if let's say your, your, your process uh, data set, it will be continuous, means that it's a numeric, it's a measurement. Let's say it's a length. Your, your strength, okay, your diameter, okay, your, your temperature or so on. So, so it will be can measurable, okay. So in simple mathematical, it will be have a decimal point, okay. So can, can be either variables or continuous, okay. And then for those are uh, something like except reject, you have a defect, number of defect, type of defect. So it will be goes for the attribute. Okay, so in order to choose another uh, second factor, you must clear part about the subgroup size. Okay, so got subgroup size means that it's something like must be in, in the same uh, in the same operation, in the same machine, you need to measure the process. That one, it will be something uh, same, uh, same machine, okay? maybe same operator, maybe just different time. Okay, so maybe every time, okay, every two hours, you take it five. Okay, every two hours, another two hours, five, another two hours, five. <clears throat> so we consider that now your subgroup size U is a five. Okay, so every time, Maybe you're talking only one, okay? So we consider you will use the individual moving range, okay? If let's say more than one, okay, it's two up to eight, okay? So we use the X bar R chat. If let's say more than eight, okay, you will use the X bar S chat. So it's a simple. <coughs> X bar means that mean your average range is your maximum minus minimum in your subgroup size. Just now I mentioned that every time you take it five, okay? So you need to find the maximum value from that uh, first subgroup. Maximum value minus with the minimum value. So we'll use get the R here. So range. And then if let's say it's a more than nine, so we we'll use the S bar. So S bar means the average, okay, your mean, and then as your standard deviation, okay. It's so simple. If let's say you have, have a smaller data set, so we go for the average only. If let's say you have more data set, you will go for the standard deviation. So it will go same for the control chart. But if let's say you have the attribute only, you mentioned about the number of defects. Okay, the number of defect. So you will go for the P or and B chart. If let's say you have a type of defect, okay, type of defect, you will give will go for the C and U chart. So no need, no need to remember all these things. Okay, if let's say you already uh, install your mini tag in your PC, or maybe after this you 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 install it, you can see the okay, you can see the this uh diagram in using assistant go to assistant you choose the control chart okay it will be the same and then more information okay so what is this one is continuous or variables just now i show it so what is this data type so maybe you're not so clear okay so we have you on this one a continuous or attribute okay and we use go give your example on this one and then you're not so clear about the uh, subgroup 
Okay, so you go for this side and then what I mean by subgroup, what I mean by not in subgroup. Okay, so they will show visualize that thing. Okay, the example also they will visualize. Okay, so for this case, only no, only one. So you go for the IMR chart. If let's say more than two, okay, more less than nine, so we go for the S bar chart. And then if let's say more than nine, so you go for the S by S chart. So same for this one. So you not consider it defect item or defect per unit. So you go for this. What mean by the defective? What mean by the defect per unit? So no need go for the Google site. You just only open your mini tab and go for the assistant. You go for the control chart. You will see this diagram. Okay. To start to choose the right control chart for your problem or for your process data set. Okay. So we go back to this. Okay. Okay. So not only that uh, control chart available or this control chart. So for the multivariate control chart. Okay. Also uh, multivariate control chart is uh, you want to show the how correlated variables jointly affect a process or outcome. Okay, means that to set, you not only measure only one variable, you not measure only diameter. Maybe you measure uh, something like uh, strength. Okay, so have a correlated with that uh, problem. So you will use the uh, multivariate control chart. Or maybe you want to more, okay, you can go for the ray even control chart. But for maybe this one is to show amount of time, okay, on the number of opportunity between the event. Or maybe <clears throat> you want to see on the small shift in the process. So you will use the time weighted control chart or we call it QSUM, okay, or EWMA. Or maybe you can use the moving average chart. So not only this, but Minita also available for this uh, type of the uh, control chart. Okay, so as I mentioned just now, we have a two common and the special, so we can eliminate. Okay, we can eliminate the var the special cost variation, and then you can identify uh, clearly for the special cost variation. Okay, you just on, maybe you by looking on the outside from the control limit. And then the pattern inside the control chart itself, it will consider the special cost variation. Or maybe you can go more further to identify the special cost variation. Just now, maybe the first default, okay, by the default, we need to consider the more than three uh, sigma from the center line. We need to say that uh, beyond of this limit, three sigma, three sigma. Or maybe you want to see on the pattern inside there, okay, you have a six point in a row, increase or decrease, okay, and then maybe you consider the nine point in a row in the same side of the center line, and then maybe you can go for the 14 point in a row, alternate up and down, and then we have an eight uh, special cost variation, okay, so maybe maybe outside uh, most of aspect uh, use this one is for the Nelson. Okay, if let's say Google apps for Nelson roles, so it will show on this one. Okay, it will be available in Minitab. I will show after this how you can get for this case. So not all the control chat, we choose all these tests, special tests. Okay, but, but by default only we measure on for the three sigma level. Okay, so if let's say you want, need, you want to see or measure uh, that one is a more you need go for the uh, X bar option. Okay, so I will show after this for this. Okay. So here is one case study here. So I think I go open to the mini tab. Okay, easy to see on this case study. Okay, so for this uh, case study, it will simple. Okay, it, the length of the pin. Okay, it will be the length of the pin. So every time they take it, uh, five sample. Okay, so every time, for example, eight em five. Okay, ten em another five, and then they machine. Uh, they measure for this pin length with the two machine, machine one and machine two. Okay, so for this case, we try with to create all uh this one. 
okay, without know about the machine, without looking on the machine, just only see the process. Is it is it in stable or not stable? So since only five consists of the five, so we will use the S bar R. Okay, so how to get it? Go to stat, go to control check. Okay, go to stat, go to control check. So we'll use the X bar subgroup. Okay, so X bar R option. Okay, so for this case, we go for the length. Okay, for this subgroup, maybe just five. You can insert if let's say you have the subgroup. Okay, you can type if let's say you don't have the subgroup. Okay, so you will see that and then you click OK. So now you will see the control chart. Okay, now you will get the control chart. So we do go to stat, go to control chart, you choose subgroup. Since every time they take it five, so we go for the S bar. Okay, so for this case, you uh, select the length the measurement data set, you insert the subgroup size and then you click OK. So you will get the control chart here. So based on this control chart, okay, nothing uh, red color appear on this one. Okay, in this uh, R, uh, R chart, okay, so nothing appear. So for the S bar also, nothing appear. So this one is, we call it the upper control limit. This one is a center line. This one is the uh, lower control limit. This one is the UCL uh, R range. Again, okay. this one is the uh, LCL. So for this, this calculation is coming from this value. Okay, it's coming from this value. So no need to put anything. Okay, so Minitech will generate all this value based on your process data set. So it will change here. So it will change on this one. Okay, so based on this finding, so your process it will in control state or it's stable or consistent. Okay, but by the default, we need to only uh, check for the test one. Okay, just now I show we have a lot type of the detecting, okay, detecting of the special cost variation. Okay, so if let's say you go more on this one, so go back to the mini tab. Okay, so you go back to the dialog box. Okay, you just go for this icon and then you go for the X bar R option. So you go for the test here. Okay, so for example, you want to perform all the tests. Okay, but we suggested for the first time you use or you create your control chart you will go for the okay, point one, test, uh, test one, test two, maybe test three, and then maybe test seven. Okay, so for this, we try with this, click OK, and then click OK. Okay, so also for this case, nothing appear. Okay, but that one is a full fill, or you try check for this all. So maybe you can perform all the tests, okay? Perform all the tests, click OK, and then click OK. Basically, the default is only three sigma, okay? So for this case, maybe you can see on this value, okay, the pattern inside this value, okay? So, so you can go back to the S bar, S bar option, so you go for the test, okay? So you will see this one, okay? Okay, so for this case, the by the default only one three sigma. Okay, so maybe you want to see on the two sigma, so you can customize it on this. Okay, maybe that will trigger on this one. Okay, to check the uh, special cost variation. Okay, so I I try how to get it because this one is the subgroup. Okay, that one is not individual. This one is the you see that it's a sample mean. Okay, so how to get it, this one. So I go back to this. Okay, so I go, I create a sum for you. Okay, this one is how to get it, this. Okay, so for example, for the X bar. Okay, this, this, this sample is not the individual value. It will be coming from this average for subgroup one. Okay, subgroup one. 
the weight is average. So you sum all this one. So divide by the number of this sample and then we you get this value. Okay. So you will get in this value. So we go for this, this next sample, the next sample, the next sample, the next sample, the next sample. Okay. The last, the green line here, it will be show the x bar bar, mean to say that the average of average of your sample here. Okay, you can see the x bar bar, the average for average sample or average or subgroup here. So same score for the R, okay? So for this subgroup one, okay, it consists of five. So you need to find the maximum number. So for this maximum number is this value minus with this uh, value. Okay, the, the, the smallest number. So will you get the first R for first subgroup here for the second subgroup here, third subgroup and so on. So you will see that the green line here, it will be shoulder only one bar. So mean to say that this one is average for range. Okay, average for range only. So mean to say that this one is subgroup. It's not individual. Well, uh, value it will coming from set of this group, set of this group. So that's why we not highly recommend if let's say you want to put the spec limit on this x bar. Okay. So because this value is coming from five value, it's not the individual. Maybe if let's you put the spec limit, it will be misleading information. Okay, you assess on this from the five value is not the individual value. But if let's say you're using, go for the stat, go for the control chart, you're using the individual IMR chart, it's an individual value. Every sample, it will be individual value. So you can able to put your spec limit on this one. Okay, because every sample, every dot here is sim single value. Okay, not can be a misleading. Okay, you can go. Okay, you can customize it on this one. So you just double click, right click. Okay, you can add. Okay, so maybe you can add the reference line. Okay, so maybe for this case, you want to add the spec. Okay, so maybe you want to add to maybe 25. Okay, so click OK, click OK, click OK. So you, we can add. Maybe you want to add the spec limit. But for this case, this value is the sing not the single group value. So how to get it, this one? Before I go back to this, okay, how to this get this first sample and so on. So you will get the next sample and so on, okay? So another tips and tips, okay. It is for those are, uh, for those, uh, for those, I go back to this one. Okay, for those uh, import data from the Excel file and maybe you not use the one variables, one column. Okay, maybe it can be uh, like this. Okay, length one, subgroup one, subgroup two, subgroup three. So you are able to use. Okay, you are able to use, but, but, not by, but not by default. So go for the stack, go for the control chart, go for the subgroup. Okay, you go for the SPAR chart. You see, we have two options here. So we have the observation for a subgroup uh, in one row of column. So for this case, you need to add all this. Okay, and then proceed, click OK. So you will get also the control chart for this. Okay, we will see on this one. So you will get on this. Okay, so it will depends on uh, your data set. Okay, so if let's say the subgroup side like this, subgroup one, subgroup two, subgroup C, three, and so on. So you will go for the this observation for a subgroup in one row of column. Okay, so not don't be a panic. Okay, so you 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 say, okay, I need to copy paste it on this one column, no need. Okay, so you just go for this. Okay, or for this. But normally we use for the observation for a chat uh, in one column. Okay, but I think if let's say you 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 go for the Excel template, okay, most of them use like this, okay, use like this. So it will be different. So you not don't worry, you will handle on this one, okay. The first part, 
okay i go for the second tips okay so you want to use or you want to use your own control limit okay on control limit upper control limit and then you want to use your center line your own center line or we call it the hysterical uh hysterical data set okay maybe you have a previous uh process okay you you want to use the same uh control limit and then you want to uh, use the same center line okay minitech not able to directly type into the control chat okay so you able nature just can help you on this part okay i go back to minitab go back to the this one okay go for the stack go to control chart subgroup okay as bar okay for this case i go for this the length okay you go back to the x bar r option okay that just only can help you if let's say you want to use your own control limit your own center limit so you need to put the your mean and then your standard deviation okay no need to put your 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 uh, manual calculation for the upper control limit and lower control limit but you will see if let's say you put the mean a hysterical mean and then the standard deviation so i try okay i try on this one so our mean is the 19 okay one for one four for the standard deviation actually is a 2.280 okay and then I click OK, and then I click OK. For this case, I now don't want this one. Okay, I want just to select it. Okay, click OK, and then click OK. So you will see, okay, the 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 value of the control limit it will change. This one is the from the historical data mean. Okay, and then this one is the from the process mean. So you will see that with different. So for this one is as Baba 90.264. This one is our own. Okay. Our hysterical is a 90.514. So goes go for the control limit, upper control limit or lower control limit. Okay. So you cannot be like, okay, I want to use this uh my own control uh, limit. So I have to put put here. So you need to put no no. So by you need to go back to the control uh, dialog box as bar R option. And then you go for the parameter. You insert your historical mean. You insert your historical situation. And then mini tab will help you calculate on this line. So same, it will go for the three sigma, three sigma. Okay, it will be the same. Okay, so if let's say you okay, want to verify the formula, Minute that use so just only right click on that okay sorry right click right click on this okay you can see the hub here so go for the hub okay so go for the hub and then you will see okay so you go for the formula method and formula so you click on this one okay so how many that calculate the way you use the formulation Okay, so I think a lot of our customers want to verify is it the same as uh, the previous use, okay, Tra manual using, so you will see on this. Okay, so you will see we have the formula inside this one. Okay, so you can clarify is it correct or not? Is it is uh, uh, using the same uh, co co uh, formula or not for this uh, control limit? value okay so for this case i go back to this so how to get it just only right click and then you go for the button so we you can uh, compare with your manual calculation okay so another tips okay another tips and trick for this one is a process you want to show the process change okay you you already uh put some improvement process okay you want to see on the before and after Okay, maybe before and after. For this case, I try with the uh, machine one and machine two. So you want to see on this one. So how to see on this? Okay, how to get it on this? I go back to the mini tab. Okay, I go back to the mini tab. Okay, so for this one, 
Okay. Okay, so I go for the, you can go for the dialog box. Okay, you go back to the dialog box. You go for the S bar R option. Okay, for this case, I don't want here. I would just, and then you go for the stages. Okay, you go for the stages. For this case, since I have the machine one and machine two, so I want to see the machine one and machine two stages by the machine. Maybe after this, you use the before and after. Okay, so for this case, I have the machine. So I want to start with the new value here. Click OK and then click OK. Okay, so you will get the this value. But if let's say you want to put the also the value of the UCL for the process one can. Okay, I go back to this uh, X bar option and then you go, go for display. Go for display. So you display control limit on this, click OK, and then click OK. So you will see the control limit on for the machine one, and then control limit for the machine two. Okay, so you will get on this one. So how, I just repeat, go back to the X bar option. Okay, go back to the stages. Okay, choose your, your, your defined stages, and then you want to display, go to display, and then you display the control limit. And then you will get the uh, this way, okay? Then, okay, so I think go back to the one, okay, I already put here. So I go, I, I have another uh, case study here is for the attribute control chart. Okay, for this case, a quality engineer for the wallpaper manufacturer wants to assess the stability of the printing process. So every time the engineer takes off sample 100 feet of the wallpaper and counts the number of printing defects, which is, is the include print, smell, smell, pattern distortion, and the machine eat. So this one is a type of the defect. So the type of the defect maybe can give a defect. Okay, so you need back to your 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 three diagram for the control chart. So for this case, the one is a type of the defect. Okay, so the type of a defect. So you go back to this one. I have this case study. Okay, wall the defect here. So this one is the first sample. Is the defect is twenty four. So all the sample one hundred. I say have a. You can see twenty four type of the uh, defect. So the that one is mean different type of the defect. So it consists of, for example, just now we showed that, okay, we have the uh, paint smell pattern disorder and the machine in. Okay, the total up is we have the 24. Okay, 20, 24, go for 28 and so on. So that, that means that you go for the stack, go for the control chart, go for the attribute. Okay, go for the attribute chart. Since every uh, time is same some sample size, okay, so you go for the C chart. Why C chart? Because this one is a number of defect, okay, in different type of a defect, okay. So go for the C chart. So for this case, it's a defect, okay. So click OK, so you will get the defect. Okay, so based on this uh, control chart, okay, you will see have a two sample outside from the three sigma. Okay, so we consider this process is not stable. Okay, process in out, uh, out of control. Okay, so you need to, from this side, maybe you need to go for the brainstorm. Okay, so brainstorm. Uh, what happened for this is a machine from the Bristol. Maybe you can use the fishbone diagram, okay? Uh, cause and effect diagram, okay? With uh, environment, your machine, your, your material. So you go back to this one to identify this, why this happened. Okay, now from the control chart, you know the status of your process is out of control. So after that, you need to do the brainstorm to tackle on this one. Because this we identify beyond of this one, okay, control limit is upper or lower control limit, we consider this one is consists of the special cost variation. Okay, so after you, you brainstorm, you have uh, something, uh, okay, you, you do uh, improvement on that, 
okay, you remove on this. Okay, in in the simple context, mathematical context, it will remove on this. Okay, so you can uh, go uh, or you you settle on this part. Okay, on this part, so you calculate the new control chart. So for this imagination, okay, by the remove or tackle this or solve it on this one. So you want to we call it the omit. Okay, you will be able to create the control chart without this sample. Okay, you want to see. Okay, is it without these two samples? Is it your 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 control chart? Your process is stable in control. Okay, so the one is we can omit. So how to get it? So go back to the control chart. Okay, go for the C chart option. Okay, for go for the C chart option. So you go for the estimate. Okay, so you see the omit of the following. Okay, the omit. So I go back to this one. Okay, so for this sample, actually, it's a sample 12 and 30. Okay, so you already tackle the special cost variation. You already improve of this one. So you don't want to see on this. Okay, you already corrected on this uh, uh, problem. So you go back to this one. So go for the C chart, go for the estimate. So you want to omit, okay? Sample 12, sample 30, okay? And then you click OK, and then you click OK. Okay, so now this control chart, okay? This control chart, okay? So this control chart, without these two sample, okay? Without two sample. So you will see this one, your control limit also will be the change. Okay, and then the rest of the sample inside of the three sigma level. Okay, three sigma level. So we consider without this, you correct the already. So your process now in control state. Okay, control state for this. Okay, so. Actually, if let's say you already have uh, some solution on that, so you can omit to, to see the new control chart for this case, okay? But in the simple calculation, we can remove, okay? We remove on this value. But in the real situation, you need to do the pre to tackle of this special cost variation, okay? So for this. Go back to this, okay. Okay, so leave leaving out of control point. So you can calculate without selected or with the selected sample or without that sample. So you can able to create in mini that septic software. Okay, so we have another way to to <coughs> to create the control chart actually. Okay, we have another way. So the one is the assistant. So this assistant, uh, we have more on this, okay? So for example here, we go for the assistant, we go for the control chart, okay? Assistant is the, the dialog box, it will be simple rather than stack menu, okay? The information also is a simplest and then maybe you have a different, okay? We have different, uh, uh, information okay, or graphical only. So we go for this, easy for to see, go for the assistant, go for the control chart. Okay, for this case, it's a measurement. It's a more than five, a more than one. So it's a five. So we'll go for this as bar option. So for this case, in one column is our length, constant, it's just constant, it's a five. Okay, so for this case, you want to estimate from this your data set, or maybe you will have your own historical. So for this case, want to estimate from the data. Click OK. Okay, so you will see the assistant report. Okay, in assistant, actually, you will see the summary report, the stability report, and then you will see the report card. Okay, so for the, you can see that the stability uh, the, in the summary report, actually, they will have this one. Okay, I think most of our customers love it this because in this session, is the process mean stable? It will help you to interpret the result. Okay, yes, it's a stable. Okay, the comment here, 
is the process uh, mean is a stable this, since no subgroup are uh, out of control limit on the x bar chart. Okay, and then you can see that this one is uh, our control chart. It's the uh, x bar. This one is the range. And then they will have this one. Okay, the stability report. They look on this pattern. Okay, the leg look on this pattern. And then they will show the report card. Report card is something like suggestion or assumption before you go further for this analysis. Okay, so we have a two option whether you want to use the this way is the step menu. <clears throat> okay, by the step menu, this by the assistant. Okay, so all this one just right click send to words or send to PowerPoint, and then you can customize it on this. You just double click. Okay, and then maybe you can customize it on this. Okay, prepared by. Okay. By Sulawati. Okay. Then and click OK and then click OK. So maybe from here, right click so you can send to the words. Okay. To do the report, send to the PowerPoint. Maybe you want to do the presentation. Okay. And then maybe you can copy to paste it to your, your own formatting report. Okay. You can copy it. Okay. And then so on. And then another thing is something like happen to your, <laughs> it will happen to your this one. Okay. Meaning that will trigger something. Okay, so you to put the new one. Okay, maybe you put an additional process value. Okay, for here is maybe 20.05. Okay, three. So you can see that the one is trigger. They will trigger up because it's something happened into your column. So they will trigger up. Okay, so no worry. If let's say something happened into your column, so they will ask you this trigger is update the this result or create the new result. Okay, so if let's say you update, so we'll update automatically. If let's say you create, they will create the new result. Okay, so you can see the new result here on this one. Okay, so no need to worry if let's say something happened on this. So if let's say I let's see, click clear, clear cells. Okay, so you can see, so you just update the result. So we get the same data set. Okay, same finding on this. Okay, so this one is uh, some uh, features or available in control chart itself. Okay, but just mention that all this in the step menu, go for the step menu, go for the control chart, and then you can go for the S, uh, subgroup. If let's say you go for the X, S bar R, or maybe you want to see on the individual, so you can choose by individual, or maybe you can go for the uh, attribute control chart and then just now is the multivariate chart just now I will mention okay we have the ray even chart or maybe you can go for the QSAM or EWMA control chart so all available just only go for the start control chart and then you choose the control chart or maybe you can go for the assistant you go for the control chart so what type of the control chart maybe you can see on this okay subgroup Okay, so maybe you can go for the data collection for those are not clear about the subgroup. Okay, about the subgroup. So you maybe you can go for this kind of this one. Okay. Okay, so assistant. So the stable and in control process is prerequisite for further analysis such as a capability or predictive analytics. So for those want to measure about the CP, CPK, so you need to look on the stability first. If your stay, if your process is stable, you can predict the future of performance and maybe you can improve it, uh, your capability. So however, a stable process does not necessarily mean it's a, it is a capable. So for this uh, information or for this statement, you need to go for the capability analysis. Okay, but in the stable process, does mean that uh, does necessarily mean it will be capable. Okay, so I think do you have any question? So if let's have questions, so please type into the chat box or Q and A box. Okay, so we have a lot of questions. So I try pick one of this one. Okay. So for those I want to this material, so please drop your email on this uh, chat. Okay. Uh, or in QA slash uh, QA box. So I will email after this. Okay. And then, okay, so. Uh, Okay, this one is, uh, can you explain again why you set the five for the subgroup side? It, this one is a, 
depend on your on your uh, process itself. Okay, so let's say every time you have a lot of product can produce okay in one time in one minute okay so you can setting on this one but make sure it will same in your machine same with your maybe operator also will make sure it will be the same for the sub -growth size because in the minute uh control chart actually we not see on the individual okay maybe for this okay it will come in from the sub group Okay, subgroup means that you, from the uh, observation one, observation two, observation three, observation four and five, you already measure the weeding. Okay, weeding. You will measure the variation weeding in subgroup and then between the subgroup. Okay, we have measured two things. Okay, maybe it will different when your, your uh, times it will different. Okay, so your, your, the, the bell shape. Okay, your bell shape will be different so for this case okay actually you can okay maybe you can see on this okay so you can rotate on this okay so you will see this okay and then you maybe you can measure or uh, your bell shape here it's the three sigma okay you can measure the three sigma here okay so you can see the three, three, three sigma here so from here you can see uh, the 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 value. I already explained it. The value is not individual value. Okay. For example, for this case, okay, it's not the individual value. It's coming from group value. Okay. So it's a five, ten, or so on. It will depends on the your process itself. Okay. Normally we use five. Okay, normally we use five. Okay, so there's no wrong or correct if let's say you're using only one because only time you just only have a one, one observation. So just only one time. Okay, so you can use IMR check. Okay, if let's say you have a, every time you take it 20. Okay, so you can use the S bar S check. Okay. Okay, so another question, can we revise the UCL, SCL, um, S bar R chat can plot including the individual uh, plot. Okay, for the S bar chat, actually, we're not able to uh, plotting. Okay, this is uh, coming from the subgroup one. So dot one, dot two, dot three, no, you, you're not able to. So highly recommend if you actually want to see on that, Maybe you can go for the time series, or maybe you can go for the run chart. But time series and run chart, it will not include the control limit. Okay, it will not control limit. Okay, you need to put your own control limit and stuff. Okay. So I think the rest, the rest question, I will answer after this by the email because the 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 the, the time is running here okay so uh okay for those i want to okay we we record and then maybe you can go to our youtube channel okay military Malaysia and singapore so you were able to see after this for this okay Okay, so I think I go to this one. I go back to this, okay. So, okay, for this. So the rest question I will answer in by email. Okay, and then for those uh, requests for the material, I will email after this. Okay, and then of course, today just only control chat. That one is so basic, it's a control chat for the variables. Just only one type of control chat, we show it for you. And then we have the attribute only one. So uh, basically, if let's say you have a question like, okay, uh, for this case, why we need to use the P chart, why we need to use the NP chart, why we need to use the U, uh, U chart, so why I choose the uh, C chart. So 
let's say you not have an answer it, okay, based on this webinar. So we highly recommend you go for the hour training. Okay, so we have to, we call it, uh, it's a level two training. It's a statistical quality control. But for this case, not only consists for the control chat, we have for the other criteria or other tools, let's say MSA itself. And then we have the uh, uh, acceptance sampling since we, we cover for the statistical quality analysis. So for those are uh, Malaysia, uh, we have a HRDF claimable. Okay, so we have the, that one is the uh, Malaysia is 24 ju uh, July and then for the Singapore is the 12 September. So if let's say you want to find it more on this training part, so you can screen, uh, scan barcode in here to go for, to get more further on this part okay so thank you for your time okay so hopefully okay you learn more on today webinar and give me give you some information okay to improve your process to so if let's say you have the uh, to learn more about the mini tab so please contact us by visit our website www.com or www.busy.com or email to us sales at business.com or email to mini tab at business.com so to get some tips or trade on our mini tab product please follow us through media social like facebook and link at mini tab malaysia and singapore to access by our previous webinar uh, please subscribe to our youtube channel mini tab malaysia uh, Minitech Malaysia and Singapore. So really appreciate if you can fill out our survey in order to enhance our webinar session. So see you next time with different topic and happy learning.